This video is about demonstrating the knowledge of between an angle and its arc based on the location. We're going to talk about a couple of different angles in addition to the central angle and the inscribed angle that we have already learned about. So the first angle is an angle that is on the circle. So if a tangent and a secant or a chord intersects a circle at the point of tangency, then the measure of the angle formed is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So in this case, we have BC, which would be a tangent line, and AB, which would be a secant line. If we have our angle here, it's intercepting this arc from A to B. So if AB has a measure of 100, the angle is half the arc, which is 50 degrees. So the angle vertex is still on the circle, just like an inscribed angle, so it has the same relationship. Your angle is half the measure of the arc. So let's use this relationship to find some angles and arcs. So in number one, we want to solve for x. So we know that x is intercepting this arc. We don't know the measure of that arc yet. However, we do know that there is a circle and that one of the arcs is 132 degrees. So to get the other arc, we can subtract from 360. So 360 minus 132 would get us 228 degrees. To get x, x is an angle, so it is half the arc. So x is equal to 1 half of 228. So x is equal to 114 degrees. In number two, we are looking for this arc that is represented by x. So right now we know that the angle is 115 degrees. So we can double our angle to get our arc. So 2 times 115 gets us 230 degrees. Remember that there are 360 in a circle. So x is going to equal 360 minus 230 because 230 is representing all the part that is not included in the arc. And we would get x is 130 degrees. Number three, we want to find the measure of angle BCD and the measure of arc ABC. So angle A or sorry BCD is intercepting this arc. So we would have that the angle is going to be half of the arc, so it's going to be half of 142 degrees, which would be 71 degrees. Then we want to get arc. A, B, C. So A, B, C is intercepted by this right angle. So to get our arc, we would double the right angle. So 2 times 90 would get us 180 degrees. Number four, find the measure of angle S, T, U, the measure of arc S, R, and the measure of arc T, R. So first, to find the measure of angle S, T, U, it's going to be half of this arc. So if the arc is 166 degrees. We can take that and cut it in half. So half of 166 degrees would be 83 degrees. So our angle is 83 degrees. Now working the other direction to find SR. SR is an arc that is intercepted by the angle that is 71 degrees. So to get the measure of SR we would double our angle, so 2 times 71 degrees would get us 142 degrees. Then our last part, we want to get arc TR. So the purple arc, that's 166 degrees, and the dark pink arc, that is 142 degrees, cover most of the circle. So to get the measure of arc TR, we can do 360 minus the two arcs we already know which is 144, or sorry, 142 and 166. So 360 minus 142 minus 166 would get us 52 degrees. Now let's look at angles that are inside the circle. So here when angles are at the inside the circle, they are not at the center of the circle because then we would call that a central angle. So an angle that is, at the, that is in a circle, if two secants or chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the measure of each angle formed is half the sum of the measure. So let's say we're looking at this angle CED. 
it is intercepting the two arcs that are in front and behind it. So we have A, B, and C, D. So let's say that A, B is 70 degrees and that C, D is 100 degrees. So if we add those together and divide by 2, we would get our angle is 85 degrees. Just a side note, if we are looking at angle A, E, C, then we would be using the arc A, C, and B, D. So you have to pay attention to where your angle is to decide which arcs you are going to use. So number one, we want to find the measure of angle S, Q, R. So angle S, Q, R is this angle right here. So it is intercepting the arcs that are 32 degrees and 100 degrees. So the measure of our angle is going to equal 1 half 32 plus 100. So we can just put that all in the calculator at once, or you can add them together and then take half. So if we have a half of 132 degrees, that angle would be 66 degrees. In number six, we want to find the angle measure of angle ABE and CBE. So angle ABE is this angle, which is intercepting our two arcs that are 135 degrees and 103 degrees. So the angle measure of ABE is going to equal one half of 135 plus 103. So you can either add it together or put it all in your calculator at once. So when we put it all in the calculator at once, that gets us a measure of 119 degrees. So if this angle is 119, and we also want to know the measure of CBE, we know that they form a straight line. So to get the measure of angle CBE, we can do 180 minus 119, which gets us 61 degrees. So in number seven, we want to find arc RS. So this time when we're finding the arc, we're still using the same type of relationship. So we're going to call this X. We know that our angle is 126 degrees. So 126 degrees is equal to one half the arcs add together. So one arc is 113 and the other arc we are looking to find. So this is going to involve a little bit more solving. So first thing we can do to get rid of the half is we can multiply by two on both sides. So the two and the half cancel out. And we are left with 2 times 126, which is 252, is equal to 113 plus x. We can subtract 113 from both sides, and we get that x is 139 degrees. So this arc is 139. In number 8, we want to find the measure of arc AE. So we know that this angle 160 is intercepting the arc CD and AE. That's going to help us find X. So we have 160 is equal to 1 half of 4X plus 9 plus 6X plus 11. So we get 160 is equal to 1 half of 10X plus 20. I can multiply both sides by 2. So we get 320 is equal to 10x plus 20. We can subtract 20 from both sides. So we get 300 equals 10x. When we divide, x is 30. Now we still want to find the measure of arc AE. So we can substitute an x. So 4 times 30 plus 9 gets us 129 degrees. Let's look at one more type of angle. So these angles are angles that are outside the circle. So if two secants, which is the first picture, two tangents, the second picture, or a tangent and a secant are in the exterior of the circle, then the measure of the angle formed is half the difference of the measures of the arc. So if these are the two arcs that we are intercepting, we want to subtract the larger arc minus the smaller arc and take half to get our angle measure. So if it's inside the circle, we are going to add. If it's outside the circle, we are going to subtract. So if we are looking for X in number eight, the two arcs that it is intercepting are 130 and 20. So we have X equals one half of 130 minus 20. 
which would get us one half of 110, so 55 degrees. Number nine, we have the angle X. It is intercepting the arcs that are 228 and 132. Make sure because you are subtracting that your larger arc always comes first. So X equals one half of 228 minus 132. We can put that all in the calculator at once. And we get X is 48 degrees. In number 10, now the solving. So the angle 18 is equal to one half the further arc, which is 114, minus the smaller closer arc, which is x. So in order to solve to get rid of a half, we have to multiply both sides by 2. So we get 36 equals the half and 2 cancel out, so 114 minus x. We can subtract 114 from both sides and we get negative 78 is equal to negative x. When we divide by negative 1, x is going to be 78 degrees. In number 11, we have one arc is 107. We don't know what the remaining arc is, but if it's a full circle, we can do 360 minus 107 to get that arc is 253 degrees. So x is equal to 1 half of 253 minus 107. We can put that all in the calculator at once and we get x is 73 degrees. In number 12 we know that we are intercepting the arc that is 175. We don't know the other arc but we can subtract 360 minus 110 and minus 75 to get the remaining part of the arc. So when we subtract we get 75 degrees, so x is equal to 1 half of 175 minus 75, which would get us 50 degrees. In number 13, our angle is x plus 20, and that is going to equal 1 half the arc that is further away, which is 5x minus, now this arc, 2x plus 10 has two terms, so we're going to put that in parentheses. And we have to distribute our negative. So x plus 20 equals 1 half of 5x minus 2x minus 10. So we get x plus 20 equals 1 half of 3x minus 10. We can multiply both sides by 2. So make sure we're doubling the x and the 20. So we get 2x plus 40 is equal to 3x minus 10. We can then keep solving and we get x is equal to 50 degrees. Number 14, we want to solve for x and y. So if we look at these problems, x and y are intercepting the same arcs, which are 66 and 162. So x is inside the circle, so we would do 1 half of 162 plus 66 is equal to our angle x. So when we put that in the calculator, we would get that x is 114 degrees. Then y, we want to subtract those arcs, so 1 half of 162 minus 66 is equal to y. And we get that y is equal to 48 degrees. So as a recap, here are all of our angles. So if our angle is at the center of the circle, so here is the center of the circle, your angle measure is going to equal the arc measure. So if our angle is 120 degrees, our arc measure is also 120 degrees. If our angle is on the circle, and remember that can be in two ways. We have as an inscribed angle where both segments are inside the circle or we can have it where one segment is in the circle and one segment is outside the circle. Our angle here is going to equal half of the arc. So if our angle is 50 degrees, our arc would be 100 degrees. If our angle is inside the circle, so it is formed by two crossing lines and it's not at the center of the circle, our angle is going to equal half of the arc plus the arc. So 
So for example, if our angle is 50 degrees, our arc might be 70 and 30. If the angle is outside the circle, the angle is going to equal 1 half arc minus arc. Remember that your first arc should be your bigger arc. The second arc should be the smaller arc. And it can look in three different ways. So we can have it looking like that. Like this. Or like this. 